So uh, earlier today, uh, Morning Joe had a segment about the Republican tax plan. Surprisingly enough, Joe Scarborough and his panel of conservatives actually seem to be against this tax cut plan. It's very interesting, and they had an interesting argument, uh, argument with this. Um, one of the panelists said, oh, man, you know what, this bill is going to turn young people into socialists. <laughs> so that's to show you where they're at on this one. So they're saying, oh, this bill will turn people into socialists. Too late. 44% <laughs> of millennials now support socialism over capitalism. The Republican Party has already lost a huge chunk of young people. Since a lot of us grew up during the height of the recession caused by capitalism. It wasn't, wasn't socialists that caused this, right? It wasn't any sort of socialism that caused the banks to explode during 2007, 2008. No, no, it was greed. It was Wall Street predatory capitalism. Loaning out houses or money to houses to people who couldn't afford to pay it back. That is predatory capitalism. So that's what's happened. Now, that same system has crushed young people under a mountain of student loan debt, low wages, and of course, unaffordable housing, right? But the argument is, hey, man, look, um, one of the arguments that they use is, hey, man, look, uh, we've got we to gotta look at the debt. We've got to look at the debt. We're leaving those kids. In fact, that was one of the arguments from one of the Morning Joe panelists this morning. Um, I said, hey, look, we're leaving our kids $1.5 trillion in debt in deficits. And we're not even doing anything about it. We're not even cutting entitlements. I mean, we've got to do something, right? We can't just leave these kids holding the bag. I understand the sentiment and the framework is definitely super conservative. Um, uh, but in, in some weird way, they're trying to, they know that they're losing. Uh, that's the thing. They know that they're losing young people. And I think what they're doing, especially what Morning Joe is trying to do, Joe Scarborough, is he's trying to, try, uh, to, to appeal to more conservative millennials and to try to sway people from, hey, man, look, uh, you, guys are, you guys don't have to go to socialism. Uh, our capitalist system works just fine. It's just Trump is taking it too far. Trump's actually the real problem. No, the problem is neoliberalism. That's the problem. Pro-corporate policies, that's the problem. Donald Trump is a symptom of the disease. Predatory capitalism without regulations, without an actual true mixed market system, that is the problem. Pro-corporate policies, those are the problem. But, of course, they're never going to admit that. Now, the deficit, of course, is not the chief concern for young people. It's actually student loan debt, the inability to get housing, uh, to, even to be able to rent. Because rent in places like New York and, and San Francisco and L.A. is un unattainable. It's also the inability to budget, and this is according to another poll. Um, and, and look, it, again, students, uh, I, I'm not students, but millennials, young people, they are worried about high debt and inflation. And the, again, the ability, the inability to get housing. But these older conservatives are going to try to uh, appeal to millennials. Um, so I'm going to tell you what Joe said. On the show, we said, quote, millennials, you just had $1.5 trillion stolen away from you. Past Congresses have stolen $20 trillion from you. And over the next 10 years, they're going to steal another $10 trillion from you. And then they're going to die. And you're going to be left holding the bill. Republicans who claim to care about the debt are voting to steal $1.5 trillion from millennials. The very people who 48% are saying, no, we don't like the Republican Party. Well, I guess if, if you're one of the people who represents baby boomers, which a lot of Republicans do in this case, baby boomers are like, hey, millennials, eat it. We're going to leave you, not only are we going to destroy the planet, we're also going to leave you with a, a mountain of debt from our gigantic tax cut program. But hey, you know what? Uh, fuck you guys. We're, you know, we're going to screw you over because it benefits us. And really, it just benefits the politicians and the gigantic corporations. It doesn't actually benefit the poor grandma on, you know, Social Security benefits. So, but that's what we're seeing, right? Now, it's an awkward moment when conservatives are like, man, you know what? I think this tax cut gives too much to the rich. 
And that's Joe, uh, Joe Scarborough. And it kind of goes to show you how terrible this tax bill actually is. You've got Morning Joe, the establishment, talking like a Democrat. Now, that is a problem right there. Um, and I see it from a different lens. I think that a lot of people will see it. Because you're going to have a lot of corporate establishment Democrats saying, ah, yeah, absolutely, Joe. Look at Joe Scarborough being 100% reasonable. And look, that is a reasonable point. The problem is, is that this also shows how far to the right Democratic talking points are. I mean, again, you have Morning Joe Republican. Well, conservative anyway. He's actually uh, registered as an independent. Not that that matters too much. Uh, but... <clears throat> Because he's like, oh, I can't be part of the same party that endorses people like Roy Moore. Hey, well, look, I understand that. <laughs> I understand that view, but at the same time, you're still a conservative. You're still what Republicans used to be. You love giving tax cuts to the rich and to the corporations. You were very, very pro-business. Uh, and that ain't going to change. Just the fact that you're an independent, that's not changing, right? But we've gone so far to the right in this country that people like Scarborough... Are, again, they're starting to sound like what people would traditionally call left or what they do call left now, which is not the traditional left. Traditional left is like, forget about the debt. Let's invest in the students. Let's invest in millennials. Let's make sure that we actually give things like free college and health care to these millennials instead of saying, oh, look at, the, look at how much debt we're going to leave the millennials. Let's not do that. Let's cut entitlements instead so we can make it up. That's the Republican position. That's the conservative position. The progressive position should be, no, we're going to make sure we're going to use our spending infrastructure. We're going to fix our schools. We're going to fix our roads. We're going to fix all this stuff. We're going to make sure we have health care for everybody. And we're going to make sure we have education for everybody. That, that doesn't bury you under a mountain of debt. We're going to make sure that the... We have a living wage, a livable wage for people, for millennials getting out in the market so they can at least afford to put food, uh, you know, a roof over their heads and, and, and food in the, you know, on the table. That's the progressive position. But nonetheless, these guys think that they're going to appeal to millennials by saying, oh, look at how much the Republicans just stole from you. So what? We should just in, uh, be in favor of so-called entitlement reform? Cutting Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security to make sure that we don't have it when we actually get to that age? No, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. And look, the reason I think that they're doing this is Scarborough is keenly aware that millennials... They're going to win in the future. We're going to win in the future, right? And that millennials right now are massively progressive. The most progressive generation in history so far, okay? While the Republican Party, while conservatives, which is what Joe is, are losing an entire generation. Very few people now want to be considered to be conservative. So a lot of them know that. They know what the future pretends. They see the writing on the wall, and it's got them very, very worried. Right now, Trump, look, Trump in the, in the current GOP Congress, that is the last gasp of conservatism in its current form. Right. I mean, here you have anti-gay, anti-science, anti-education people that, you know, shit on the poor, all of that. That's what that's what they are now. Again, Scarborough is an independent. But again, he believes in at least enriching the rich and the corporations. He's one of those people that's like, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm socially liberal on some things, but I'm definitely fiscally conservative because I love giving my donor or, you know, uh, my, my rich friends more and more money. And when he was in Congress, giving his donors money. So, but even he knows this tax bill is legislative suicide. Again, it's deeply, deeply unpopular with the American people. They do not, they do not want to see this tax scam get enacted. So they know that it's going to destroy any chance of conservatives winning in the future. So, and Scarborough's like, let's not go down this road. I actually do want, want to win because, yes, we can still give the corporations and, and, and wealthy donors their money, but look at how bad this looks. Look at the optics of this. 
it looks absolutely terrible. And if we give it all to the rich right now, well, then that's it. They're on to us. No, what we have to do is incremental. We're actually working with the Democrats. Again, Democrats, corporate Democrats, are more than happy to cut taxes for the rich. But they have to do it in a certain way. Republicans are doing it in a way that is basically, no, 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 we're, we're just going to give it all right now. Massive, most massive tax cut in history. This is the only chance that we're going to get, and we're going to take it. And that's why you see them doing exactly what they're doing right now. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.